Game number two for the Ice Bus here at the Toscano Family Ice Forum. Randy Brochu, Joe D'Ambrosio, and our ESPN Plus crew. And for the second time at the Toscano Family Ice Forum here for the first period is my broadcast partner, Randy Brochu. Thank you so much, Jody Ambrosio, Ryan Twerberg, and Lucas Mercury. End of the faceoff circle at center ice, and Twerberg wins it. Looks early on this power play for the Huskies. Spets walks it. They give him room from the circle. Down low, into the middle for Bradley. He shoots a couple of times. Waved the puck off. goes in, but it is waved off. And Joe, I saw that puck here in the blue paint. Let's take a look. Chase Bradley thought he had number 11. Has something to say to the referee about the call. Chase not happy. So as we watch it once again, Where's that puck frozen? That looks like it never was. Yeah, it doesn't look like he, like Pavisic ever had a complete hold of it. So, UConn, which was chapped at some of the third period penalty. This is a terrific power play led by Uthko, who one times a fluttering puck towards the net. Turnes makes the play, and fortunately for the Huskies, Uthko didn't totally connect. Coming off of a great performance at the World Juniors for the United States, 10 points, including five assists in a game against Germany. Yeah, low shot, Ufko leads UMass. He has four of their 20 power burn. Back to Capone, he's got Lucas breaking. Try to get it to him, but on the back check is Eric Faith. He is stapled into the boards. Kept in by Bradley. Hopefully the man who goes down it's back Eric there. Faith, the captain. Faith's gonna take the hit from Capone. Again, clean, it's shoulder to shoulder. Well, they're gonna go look at it though. That they'll come up with a penalty here, but let's get a look at the replay. Head is up, Capone's in, sees him coming. It's shoulder to shoulder. He doesn't lead high with the elbow. It doesn't look like he leaves his feet. Looks like a totally clean hit. And, you know, ev obviously, even the clean hits can result in unfortunate injuries. Now, there's a good hit by Lawton back on Pearson. Back comes UMass, Taylor McCarr. And we've got a whistle. Hit after the for his assistant captain Hudson Shandor trying to turn the corner on Canal. Just a little backhand play by McCarr. And yes, Joe, it is the second of or the second period. Shoots it in. Puck was deflected. Lead pass knocked away. Here's Capone. Skates to the center. Nick Capone puts it on. Goal! He scores! Nick Capone! Well, you knew it was coming for UConn and Capone with a snipe. He's got a heavy wrist shot. He just gets behind it. A turnover in the neutral zone, by the way, because Travis Disbennett, the official, had the puck hit him. Up on the left wing with Wood sweeping in in support. Wood try to pick it up lacrosse style and pull a Michigan off, but it's denied. Pavisic made the stop. Now Shandor down the middle. Back to Wood. Across to Pearson. They score! UConn has the lead for the first time tonight. Justin Pearson, the recipient of beautiful tape-to-tape -tape passing. Shandor to Wood to Pearson to one ice bus. You can draw it up, and you can't do it any prettier. First Wood behind the goal, trying to Michigan play. Couldn't go. They couldn't clear it out. Nice job by Reese to keep it in. Then Shandor with the pretty pass to Wood, slides it across. Nobody accounted for Justin Pearson. leads for the first time tonight. Connecticut two, Massachusetts one here. Flynn out to Bradley. Open ice for Bradley. He goes wide down the left wing. He's got Twerber going to the net. He scores! Bradley to Twerber got a beauty and Ryan Twerber is on the board to make it a two goal lead for UConn. The drought has ended for Twerberg. Chase Bradley playing with so much confidence. Twerberg on the right side. Pavisic had no chance. But Twerberg is team high, 11th goal of the year. And UConn goes up by two. It's wide out to center. Reese sends it in. Percival 
will keep it along the wall. Yukon earns three points in the Hockey East standings with their first win at Toscano Family Ice Forum. They beat the UMass Minutemen three to one tonight in scores.